Hello, this is Dr. Singhal. I would like to show you basics of doing C programming using Visual Studio.net. This is a free download uh, from Microsoft website, Microsoft.com. It's called Visual Studio .net 2017 Community Edition, which you can download for free. Okay. Okay, so first we'll start the Visual Studio with this donut, purple donut icon. And it'll be a little slower because uh, I'm making this video. Uh, when videos are made, a lot of RAM is used. Things slow down a little bit. So first you will click on File, New, Project. Project means it could contain multiple files although most of the programs you will write will have single file okay and then <clears throat> even though it says visual c++ you should there's no c here but you still use visual c++ and empty project location could be changed by browsing uh, for now i can just leave it here and call it let's say first project or program <clears throat> and click OK and it's going to create the first project <clears throat> again it's going to run a little slower because making video takes a lot of RAM. If this Solution Explorer window does not show up, then you can click on View, Solution Explorer. In this case, it's already showing up. Nothing is going to change. And then right click on Source File, Add New Item. This is the crucial step. By default, because it's a C++ project, it's going to put cpp file here but that's the one that you have to change to dot c extension okay so we'll say hello world dot c this is the very important part okay it should be dot c extension for c programming click add and it will show up here the blank page will show up here and now we'll type our C program source code uh, first is including a preprocessor number include stdio.h this is the header file that is required in order to access printing to console or taking input from the keyboard and that should be enough and then we write a main function which is always run first int main and a blank body after that now what's going to happen is that uh, program when run will actually close by itself so <clears throat> we will need to do something to keep the console open we'll do that in a minute so first we want to do the classic program that print hello world to the screen so we'll use print printf uh, i'm not typing right printf and hello world and slash n will give us a break line break so this is to print uh, hello world to the screen now if we run the program right now it will actually the console will close by itself so we need to keep console open and 
in order to do that we need to take a prompt system for a user input but not actually do the input when a system input is expected the console will stay open so there are many ways to do it I will show one way today maybe more in the future uh, <clears throat> there's a function called get ch uh, or we'll just do scanf for now so we'll just declare an int variable int war and then we'll just do a scanf that is used for uh, input uh, percent d no lowercase d address of war but we'll actually not make an input but since it's expecting an input it'll stay open okay now there are two steps in the process first we compile the program which is build solution and it says build started okay it says build failed so obviously I have a compiler error somewhere oh, okay yeah this Visual Studio it says scanf is unsafe so that means there is yeah use yeah that's it so it's visual should require scan f s underscore s underscore s there is a way to suppress this but we were not going to do that now in xcode in other systems it will work it's not a problem so build it again yeah it succeeded now once it succeeds that means there are no um, compile errors and now we can run it so you should say start without debugging and here it is hello world and since we don't have an input we will close it so that's the way to do write a C program in C program it is required that all the variables are uh, here at the top declare it first and then the program is written okay thank you